Here we go. Well, there's, there's politics in everything. There's politics in your family, in your profession, in your personal life. And when it came to politics in, in our profession, Dom and I felt the same way about keeping court reporting, card reporting in shorthand and not digital. And Dom and I volunteered many years ago to um, compete against any kind of machine. In those days, it was called EOR, electronic reporting. And uh, no, nobody ever took us up on it. And we laughed. And the fact that no one accepted the challenge didn't mean that they agreed. It means that they were afraid. And uh, I recall a real time session on, for a government in Jer Jersey City, New Jersey, when, at the very beginning of real time, which goes back to about 30, 30 years ago for me. And Dom saw the recording <laughs> and I had a misstroke. I spit on the floor was a misstroke. I hit an H instead of a P. And I figured out then how to get rid of everything on the screen immediately. So I developed a stroke that Dom adopted. And my stroke was new, new page very fast and it was defined as 24 lines going up into heaven the lines went up and i used that repeatedly repeatedly i don't know if my daughter lauren is still on the line but i taught her something when, when she was trying to under me i'm here dad hi lauren <laughs> hi and you know what I'm going to say, the word was supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. And I told Lord how to write it, supercalcal. It comes up. I've used it a couple of times. I, I did too. Lauren used it when I had a comedian. I had the same comedian. And I was writing. And there is a deaf psychologist that goes around the country talking. He starts his speech off with the same joke every single time. But one time he threw in the word supercalifragilisticexpialidocious and everyone looked up at the screen and there it was. I probably missed a couple of words before then, but when that word came up, it was right there. If you, if you want to hear the joke very quickly, it is a, uh, on a golf course. The pro is sitting in his office and his phone rings and he said, Joe, this is the, uh, the Holly Davidson group out here on, 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 on T number 17, 14. And uh, there's a blind guy over here, doesn't want to get off the court. Well, I'll be right out. And he gets in his cart and he goes out to the T. And there was a blind guy trying to tee off. So he went over to these three men who were really getting vulgar and belligerent. And he said, uh, you know, he is a member and he paid his dues. He's entitled to play, even if it is eight o'clock in the morning at the appointed hour. And the first guy said, you know, maybe I prejudged. I'm sorry. The second guy said, you know, I never know what tomorrow's going to be. Maybe I shouldn't have said what I did. And the third guy didn't give in. He said, you know, if he's a member and he paid his dues and he's a good golfer and he's blind, why can't he play at night? And the entire audience of deaf people laughed. And I didn't think it was so funny. And that's when they used the word supercalifragilistic. And I threw, it, I threw it out on, on, the, on the screen. So you, know, you, know, you, know, you never know what you're ready to write. Dominic, 
got every name of every person in my family when I gave my 40 page speech. And uh, Dominic, if you're listening, I apologize. I apologize for, for reading so fast. Melanie, I see you're around. Melanie, I apologize to you publicly for creating the literary by throwing in every rock and roll group name in Brooklyn. I apologize for that too. I don't apologize to any other things in my life, but the, those two come to mind right now. I'll stop talking. Thank you very much. Once again, Dom, have a good rest. You deserve it. You earned it. God bless you. Bye-bye.